Hello there. Welcome to my video message to the atheist movement worldwide. We are here to debunk you. Ooh, a debunking. Have you ever wondered why the earth does not suffer from severe hurricanes and wind blasts that would blow mankind right off this planet? No, not really. Speeding along at 67,000 miles per hour and spinning at 1,000 miles per hour That's fast. would certainly test your fortitude to stay on the orbital Earth vehicle, which it is not. It is not moving. What do you mean it's not moving? It's been that way from the beginning. It's written that way in the Holy Word of God. The Holy Word of God? And for some reason, it was withheld from the students as heliocentrism was taught in the classrooms of the schools of most of the world. So the students didn't even know there was a controversy. So how would they know to look into it? It's almost like there would be a separation between what was in the Bible and what was in textbooks. The Word of God is geocentric. The earth doesn't move. That is a miracle just as great as if it moved at 67,000 miles per hour and was spinning. Both are miracles of omnipotent power and omniscient design. Okay, I'm going to change hats here. This dude is fucking nuts. I could go through any number of the philosophers, naturalists, scientists, any of the numerous cultures going back sometimes thousands of years, a hell of a lot further than some people think. Observing the stars, observing the planets, and realizing that it is the Earth that is moving around the sun. In the modern age, what proved this, and this is using a sci the scientific method, which this old motherfucker needs to research, is when calculus was invented. And people were observing the planets. And then somebody realized that if you changed the sun to the middle and used some of these equations that you could then predict where the planets were at given dates and somebody did this and then it happened and then other people saw this and used his equations looked at the data and says okay then if that's right, then this planet should be here. And they made a second prediction, and it was correct. And then other people made other predictions, and it was correct. There are mountains of evidences I could state showing that, in fact, the, the heliocentric ideal is fact. It's not corruptible. No book that anybody wrote can disprove that. Nothing that any invisible God says can disprove that. And this is why I'm fighting ignorance like this. Because if this man can corrupt himself to believe that the Earth is the center of the solar system and the universe, then he can corrupt himself to follow any of the other really fucked up things in the Bible. Any of the 600 laws in the Old Testament demand killing people and any of the other really fucked up things in there. The, the, this is an idea and a mindset where your belief is so paramount 
that that you believe so hard that you ignore the collective data, the, the collective understanding of thousands of years of understanding the natural world to believe some fucking book. There's just so many physical laws, so many observations that disprove this. It's, it's amazing that in 2012 somebody can believe this. I just can't wrap my head around this. And for a while, I thought this guy was a Poe, but he, he's not. He's got a lot of videos, and he's very consistent in his ignorance. And he's very consistent in, in believing that what the Bible says is true, which means he believes rabbit chew, rabbits chew their cud, bats or birds, that if somebody gets divorced they should be killed if a woman is not a virgin on their wedding night they should be killed gay people should have their heads chopped off and don't eat lobster you know i i doubt that this guy follows the kosher rules but they're also in the bible and i, I could go on for a while on this i'm not going to this guy is a moron this guy is a fucking idiot he is the epitome of the believer trumping any skepticism he has. This man has been brainwashed by himself and by others so much that he is now incapable of thinking logically and that is a danger because he's going to drag other people down with him. And this is what we have to fight. This is what we have to stop people from doing because if this man was teaching your children they would be fucking idiots.